Hello and welcome on the YouTube channel of the Friedrich Bauer Biomed Center. In today's video, I'll show you the splitting of an adherent cell culture. The cell splitting is one of the most important basic techniques in modern cell culture. The cells grow on those flasks in a so-called monolayer. If this one cell layer thick layer gets too dense, then the cells can start to differentiate. For many experiments, it's important to have the cells in an undifferentiated stage. Therefore, frequent splitting is very important to keep the cells subconfluent. Have fun while watching the video. Here we have a flask of subconfluent HeLa cells. The first step is to decant the old medium. It can also be aspirated off. It's very important to watch out for drips on the neck of the bottle. Next, the cells are washed with 10 milliliters of PBS, which is phosphate buffered saline solution. It's very important that the PBS is at minimum room temperature. Do not put the PBS directly onto the cell layer, otherwise some cells can be loosened. The PBS is aspirated off or decanted. Next, 5 ml of trypsin are added. After adding the trypsin, the cells are placed under a shaker. The cells are placed under a shaker at 37 degrees Celsius. Trypsin is an enzyme which digests the proteins the cells use to fix themselves to the bottom of the flask. It's very important not to let the trypsin digest for too long, otherwise the cells can be harmed. The trypsination process is frequently controlled under the microscope. A slight tapping of the glass might help to loosen the cells from the bottom of the flask. After the trypsination process is finished, the trypsination is stopped by adding at least double the amount of medium. The bottom of the flask is continuously rinsed with the proliferation medium. Now the cells are not longer digested by the trypsin, but rather the proteins of the medium. After this, a portion of the cells can be used for splitting. They are placed in a centrifuge tube. The other part can now be used for experiments. The cells are now centrifuged for 5 minutes at 200 times G at room temperature.
after centrifugation, the cell pellet is at the bottom of the centrifuge tube. All you need to do now is to decant the supernatant and to resuspend the cell pellet in fresh proliferation medium. It's important to thoroughly resuspend the cells. The cells are resuspended by pipetting up and down several times. Now, the cell suspension is given into a new flask. All you need to do now is write down all the important information about the passage onto the flask. And that's it for today. This has been the splitting of an Aetherian cell culture. Hope you had fun while watching the video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.